All right, everyone, this is our first video on machine design calculations. And in this one, what we're going to do is try to figure out what the kinetic energy is stored in a flywheel. Um, we're, we're also going, I should mention, to consider the uh, inertia of the shaft to which the disk is attached. So you know that in translational or linear terms, force, this is just Newton's law, force is equal to the mass times acceleration. Now, I've always had a hard time to remember uh, formulas when I was in, in uh, doing my undergrad. But, so for example, how would I relate torque to um, mass and acceleration, well, it's pretty simple. You just need to think about the analog in rotational terms. So what is the force? Force should be torque. We're going from translational linear to torque um, because we're dealing with uh, rotating motion. So we have force, which is equal to torque. What's mass? Well, it's rotational inertia. multiplied by angular acceleration. And so mathematically, this is equal to F time equals time uh, mass times acceleration. And this is torque T is equal to rotational inertia. I'm just going to write I times angular acceleration, which is usually, in my dynamics class at least, was noted by uh, alpha. Okay, so for a hollow disk, uh, the moment of inertia is I equals one half times the mass times the outer diameter squared minus the inner diameter squared. Well, what's the mass? One half. The mass is equals to is equal to rho, the density, times pi r squared, which would be the area, times the thickness. But the area is the outer diameter squared minus the inner diameter squared. Or I should say it's rho times pi dot times uh, the outer diameter squared minus rho times pi dot times the inner diameter squared. But if we combine that, we're going to multiply by t and close this off. We had this. OK, so let's work this out. 1 half times rho times pi times the thickness times the outer diameter squared minus the inner diameter squared, all of that squared. OK, so for the solid shaft, the moment of inertia is equal to 1 half times its mass times its diameter squared. I'm going to put the subscript i just to make a reference to the notation that we used for the disk. So what's the mass? It's rho times the area times the length. So the area is pi inner diameter squared, and the length is capital L. All of that multiplied by the inner diameter squared. And all of that is equal to rho pi L times the inner diameter to the fourth power. 
Okay, so let's bring this guy here. Okay, so the torque is equal to the rotational inertia, which we're going to denote with the letter I, but it's the sum of the inertia of the hollow disk and the solid shaft. So we're going to write I total um, times the angular acceleration. Okay, well, let's take the expression of the hollow disk inertia, one half rho pi t plus um, one half rho pi l inner diameters, uh, fourth power again, times the angular acceleration of the system. And mind you, the angular acceleration of the disk and the solid shaft are the same because they're, they're attached to one another. Now, the reason why we're doing all of this is that we want to know what the um, kinetic energy of the rotating system is. Well, the kinetic energy, as you know, is equal to force times distance um, in translational terms. So if you have a, a box and you're pushing with a force, then the, the or rather I should just say the energy that you're, you're spending is the force times the distance equals to force times distance. Okay, so what about in rotational terms? Actually, it's not kinetic energy I should write. That would be a big mistake. So energy spent would be force times distance. Okay. What about in terms of uh, rotational uh, coordinates? So that would be force is torque. And the distance is the angular velocity times time. The reason for that is the units of velocity would be rads per second times seconds we're getting rads. So that would be the equivalent of the distance. Okay, well, what is torque? We already found the expression for torque. It's the sum of the moments of inertia of the disk and the uh, shaft times the angular acceleration. Okay. So I'll put a big bracket around that times angular speed times time. Okay, so that is equal to, we're just going to write I total to simplify things, times, and we're going to group the acceleration, velocity, and time terms. Acceleration, velocity, time. So let's think about that for a second. And what is that equal to? So let's look at the units. Angular acceleration is rads per second squared times um, rads per second times seconds. Well, that's equal to rads squared times seconds squared. And really what that is, is rads per second squared. And so velocity squared. 
OK. So we have our final expression for energy. The energy contained within the flywheel attached to a disk is equal to the moment of inertia of the disk plus the moment of inertia of the shaft. All of that times rotational velocity squared. And there you have it. We're going to circle our answer. In a future video, we're going to uh, do a numerical application of this um, formula. Uh, that's the purpose of these uh, new videos. And so if you want to have the PDF worksheet of this problem, then uh, it's in the description below. And once again, I thanks, thank you for watching.